All right, so today I just wanted to do a very short video with regards to eight gigabyte VRAM GPUs. Now there's been a lot of talk online about how obsolete these eight gigabyte VRAM GPUs are. And uh, I just wanted to do a quick run with The Last of Us purely just because it is a little bit easier just to do a comparison of video. Hardware Unbox did a video where they showed the 3070 can't run the game at 1080p Ultra. Now this is with an RX 6600 XT, which is an eight gigabyte VRAM GPU, obviously. And you can see that we aren't having any issues actually all right the frame rate is quite low uh, i wouldn't play at 1080p ultra with this gpu but uh, we aren't seeing a lot of uh, frame time spikes with the new patch this is a uh, patch version 1.0.5 and it released yesterday at the time of uh, recording this video so i just thought i'd make a quick comparison video for you let's just go over the settings here just to show you that we are running at uh, 1080p ultra you can see that our vram well, our supposed VRAM usage is around nine gigabytes, which is obviously one gig more than what we have currently. But uh, there you go, those are all the ultra settings. I haven't cut anything in this video. This is all done real time. So let's just have a look in comparison to the hardware unboxed video as well. So I've put them side by side and on the right, you've got the hardware unboxed video with the 3070 eight gigabyte GPU. And you can see that it's really struggling to uh, keep up. So I'm not trying to discredit them at all. This was the state the game was uh, released in. Even 12 gigabyte GPUs had issues running at 1440p ultra. I tested it with the RDX 4070 Ti and it just wasn't that great. But you can see that the 3070 is really struggling here. Uh, don't mind the frame rate. I mean, personally, I wouldn't play like this. The frame rate is a little bit low but you can see that we aren't seeing the exact same issues with the new patch now i'm going to be honest that this patch doesn't fix everything although it is a step in the right direction this game crashed on me more times than not all right let's just see i'm going to test this game now at 1440p ultra still with the same gpu uh, we're just going to up the resolution you can see that the vram usage or vram uh, est estimated usage goes up quite a lot so let's see what the gpu can actually do now at 1440p ultra whereas uh, previously eight gigabyte vram gps couldn't even run at 1080p ultra and as you can see the frame rate is quite low i mean 30 frames per second is definitely not uh, what i'd consider ideal but you can see that the frame time graph is pretty smooth now this just brings me to my point i don't think you should be using a new games that have uh, so many issues at launch to do comparison videos you can see that uh, the performance between the two versions of the game is completely different i, I think uh, steve's video was done at patch version 103 or 104 one of the two but uh, this is with patch 105 and you can see that it is even playable at 1440p well, playable might be a strong word. All I'm referring to is the frame time consistency, which is greatly improved. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.